all know the common question. Are we live yet? I think we are. I think we are live. Welcome to this gloomy day here in Tokyo that marks the one year anniversary since my first live stream on this channel. Uh, I see that there's already quite a lot of you waiting to join me today. That's wonderful. Uh, let me know in the chat if you were actually here uh, for the original one, one year ago. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see which, how many of you were, were with me back then. So for today's stream I'm planning to do the same walk as I did on that first stream one year ago, at least initially. Which is starting here in Mitsukoshimae, uh, which is uh, just next to Nihonbashi. Here's Nihonbashi, the famous, famous bridge uh, over there. Uh, and I will walk this way to Akihabara. So that's the start of today's stream. Uh, um, on that first stream it took me an hour to do so. We'll see how long it, take to, it takes today. And then, once we reach Akihabara, I will let you, my dear viewers, uh, dictate the rest of this stream. So I'm gonna try a slightly new little thing. And not entirely new, I've done something similar many times before while well, I've given you a few options. Um, but this time uh, it will be more in your ha hands than it has ever been before. So uh, I think that's gonna be fun and I'm super excited to see for how long or where we will end, un end up. And I plan to walk basically until I run out of battery. Um, I'll probably have to, to stop the stream a little bit before that, but you know, let's run down the battery in the phone, which I estimate will should last us about four hours. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure yet about the exact battery life. But anyway, that's um, that's um, that's the plan for today. And wow, thank you SLO722 for the super chat. Thank you very much. Um, so as you can see, yeah, it's, it's a bit gray today. It's not amazing weather. It's pretty hot. We have to do a one year anniversary weather check, I guess. Although I'm not sure if I did weather checks back then, but I definitely know how much you love them these days. So 28 degrees here right now. Um, so yeah, it's gonna rain later today. Current humidity is 57%, so it's not super hot, but uh, or so super humid, but kind of. Any stream goals? No, and definitely not doing anything stupid like that. No, I, uh, that's I'm not gonna risk putting myself into danger or doing anything that could otherwise get me into trouble. That's, I mean, I enjoy streaming and I, I love you, my old viewers, but I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I have I have my comfort zone. <laughs> and thank you Brad Ward for upgrading your Patreon membership. That's also a great way to to support me. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. And thank you Russ Johnson for an auxiliary battery. Thank you. I actually have a external battery in the bag, but uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, it's not really very helpful because you can't use it while the phone is mounted on a gimbal but yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see uh, if we can break some records today if we could have more people than usual watching that would be nice if we could smash the super chat record that would also be very nice of course uh, but yeah let's see how it goes a lot of people out today it's a Saturday here in Tokyo, of course, so that's 
one reason, but also the state of emergency was lifted a few days ago. So um, maybe that also means that a little bit, like a few more people actually go outside now compared to to um, before. Three hundred watching and not even hundred likes. Oh. It would be awesome if we could break the records in the number of likes today. If everybody does their part, I think we can achieve some great deeds there. Let's go down here. I always enjoy passing passing this little this hyper urban shrine that we have down here. Oh, and another super chat. Thank you very much. Jako uh, Järvinen, thank you so much. Very generous of you. So, yeah, we are, you know, surrounded by high-rise buildings here and in the middle of all this there's a nice little shrine remember a boy's bow oh, yes some people actually waiting to to do a bit of praying here I'm not sure what this shrine is for. Maybe someone can let me, maybe someone knows in the chat. Oh, I never actually noticed that there's this tiny little garden here. Is that something new, I guess? Oh, there's some construction going on here. Oh, thank you, Dave, for the super chat. Thank you very much. This little garden bit was pretty small. They actually managed to squeeze in a small little creek here. Wow. Hyper compact, compact living. I must have more than one measly beer. Yeah, I think I will have more than one measly beer today. After all, it's, it's, it's my channel's birthday. So I guess we need beer and cake, which is a horrible combination, but um, nevertheless, I think we need to get that. Cute. Ah, oh, it's a shrine for good fortune in wealth and business. So, okay, I think it, then it makes sense to stop by here today on this special stream. See if it brings any wealth and uh, good fortunes um, in my life or for this stream. Thank you, Matthew Duffy. I love your streams. Thank you very much. Thank you, M. Miller. Happy one year anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been a year already. And I, I checked my channel and it's about 170 something live streams I've done since then. So that's what on average one stream every two days for an entire year. Let's see. Maybe for the two year anniversary, maybe we can bump up that ratio even more. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy and I don't know how many hours of walking I've done during this year. So thank you all my viewers. You've been helping out, helping me stay fit. Or actually I'm not fit though, so I guess it's all those beer breaks. But at least I'm definitely in better shape compared to what I would have been if I didn't do all these walks. Let's head back down to the main street here. 
and continue our, ad our adventure towards Akihabara for now. Yeah, one year. I mean, it's been a great way for me to stay sane during these troubling times. I honestly don't know how I would how my mental state would have been without these streams, but I'm pretty sure that it would be definitely worse. Because uh, of the company that I get from all you in the chat and just from the fact that I'm out and about and moving around. And I've also learned a lot about Tokyo. I've explored a lot of places that I probably wouldn't have visited otherwise. So uh, that's yeah, there's just so many benefits to running the, a channel like this. That is um, quite uh, amazing, quite something. And uh, it also sounded very much like many of you, my dear viewers, has been appreciating these walks a lot. And that's of course one of the greatest achievement for me as well knowing that I help other people during these troubling times by taking you on small small everyday adventures during my walks thank you hey <laughs> yeah. super chat is very active today I think we might be able to break some records and thank you Edwin happy anniversary for your coffee break on today's long walk thank you very much thank you very much I don't think I need to cross here now Did someone ask me to stop by Kanda Station? I think Kanda Station is pretty much straight ahead. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Shirokawa-san, arigatou gozaimasu. And thank you, Chandra Sekarnir Satish, as well. Thank you. Wow, you're very generous today. And Darla, thank you, thank you. Wow. So now I kind of know how, how famous streamers must feel when they have like super chat popping up every other second like this. It's a pretty nice feeling, I must admit. I like it. <laughs> how many years? It's a one year anniversary. One year since my first live stream. One year since I started with this strange little hobby of streaming my everyday walks all over Japan. Uh, okay, off to the left is a more atmospheric street, so I will cross here then. So yeah, one year of streams. Um, my estimate is that we will probably have another year of Japan streams coming up for sure. Then what happens after that is um, going to be well. It's still it's still pretty unclear if I will still be in uh, Japan after next summer. That I do not know. But I'm here now and for the, for the foreseeable future, at least. Thank you, Mr. Miyazaki. Yeah, it's been great. It's been great getting all the messages and support from you. I'm sorry that I'm not always able to respond to every message. Um, it's actually getting a little bit difficult to keep up with all the, the incoming messages, which is a kind of nice problem to have, but uh, 
yeah, it does make me feel a little bit bad from time to time that I can't be a bit, can't be more responsive. Ayako san, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, arigato gozaimasu. An econ guy as well, thank you. Have a look at this house. Look at this little house. Squished in between the newer houses. I guess like 50 years ago, this was the kind of buildings that lined the streets all over the place here. Simon says, I enjoyed the conversation. Most other Japan walk streamers don't say a word. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's great to hear. That is very great to hear. Um, I enjoy the conversation too. That's why I hardly record any 4K videos anymore because it's just so much more enjoyable to, to have your company while out and about. Recording a 4K video now feels extremely lonely to me actually which is um, one of the reasons why i don't do it very often and then also there's just so many other channels recording those silent 4k videos and doing it way better than i ever could so i should just stick to my my little niche i guess I hope this was the street you meant, Simon. I don't want to divert too much from my original uh, path today, now, for now, until I get to Akihabara. But then you will have plenty of influence to, to uh, control where I'm walking. I honestly have no idea if this stream will end in, I don't know, Ikebukuro or uh, in... Uh, somewhere in Adachiku or maybe east of Skytree or somewhere I don't know it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun beer today most certainly most certainly most certainly beer beer and cake to celebrate thank you Jamie thank you congratulations on your one year anniversary thank you はどこまで行きますか Thank you for just joining and being here and also for being a Patreon supporter. There's some nice restaurants here under this bridge. This bridge is actually quite nice uh, to come at night. It's a good photo spot and also the side streets around here as well. Oh, thank you Shravani and CSV. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So yeah, now we're at Kamba station, just one stop from Akihabara, we've been walking for 20 minutes. Here's also a nice shoten guy, again this, these streets as well are just, well, I mean it doesn't make sense for me to say that this street looks better at night, like everything in Tokyo looks better at night, so, uh, but um, it's day now and we're walking now, so let's just enjoy what we have. Wow, thank you, Fungus. That's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not kimchi flavored cake. That would be 
That would be amazing. That would be amazing. deep pockets today thank you thank you so much and you get to the bridge over the river from Kanda Takeba look over to the side ah yes yes down towards the Ochanomiza direction right yeah that's a good spot a Bentley after all these super chats yeah there's not much that has been earmarked for the supercar fund yet though there was one I think the first super chat ever that actually mentioned the supercar fund so I think there's five dollars in the supercar fund now so you know if we have that maybe a million times maybe we can afford a supercar so maybe by the two-year anniversary we will get there <laughs> Too bad I'm so far from Papa Noel. Yes, I am, but actually it's not impossible that this walk today could take me to him. Again, it will be up to you, my dear viewers. Once we reach Akihabara, I will leave it all up to you. I think we can go this way. Thank you, Russ Johnson. Okay, now we have six ninety nine in the supercar fund. So that's a that's a percentage wise, a pretty significant step forward. So uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> 500 viewers now thank you all for joining and if there are any first timers out there um, I do recommend that you um, check out my the links in the video description where you find the link to my Instagram and you will find the link to um, my Patreon you will also find the FAQ with answers to some some frequently asked questions obviously such as who am I what do I do in Japan how long have I lived here what equipment do I use all those things that everybody seems to be very curious about all those questions will be answered thank you Lemillion wow more beer more coffee and walks thank you thank you so much so much yeah we need to get some cake some cake and beer is uh, high on the priority list right now I kind of need to charge my batteries I think for today's adventure I probably need to eat lunch at some point as well because I haven't done that yet um, but yeah Yes, and also a big shout out to my awesome moderators who are always here swinging their banhammers and uh, doing what they can to, to keep the chat uh, generally awesome place to be. Oh, by the way, 
you know that I enjoy Yona Yona beer. Here they actually have their own little bar. Interesting. Your damn chemistry. Omerito gozaimasu. I hope you can reach 100k subs. Yeah, that would be nice. I hope so too. But for me, subs is it's not about quantity, it's about the quality. And uh, I have a pretty awesome viewership as it is. But of course, the more the merrier. Do you prefer Swedish or Japanese beer? Um, Swedish beer is not great. Um, so I think between those two, I probably would go for for um, Japanese. Yeah. I mean, there's some interesting like microbreweries in Sweden, I guess, but the, the big brands in Sweden are kind of bland. But then again, the big brands here in Japan are kind of bland as well. So. But I'm not a beer connoisseur. I'm just... I'm just cheap. I just have my beer at convenience stores and drink on the streets. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar Castro. You deserve. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Moji-san, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I'm not sure. 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 What would you do differently if you could redo your first live stream? Um, nothing. I think everything is a learning process. And my first live stream probably sucks. I checked it this morning and the quality is horrible. Uh, but, you know, every, every failure is one step closer to, uh, towards perfection. So, it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy that I did that stream. That I didn't worry too much about getting everything right and perfect. I'm still just starting to figure things out, so... That's fine. And I'm just happy that all of you enjoy joining me on my... on this experimental journey. Basically, I, in a way, like sometimes I think of what I'm doing here right now and all these streams and whatnot. That's kind of like the warming up for whatever I'm gonna do with this channel or another channel, I don't know, uh, once I leave Japan and can hopefully, you know, improve things even further in many ways. So, um, yeah. And I'm sorry, because I'm not looking at the chat constantly. So I might miss some messages or even some super chats. I try to uh, scroll back on my, on my second phone and read everything. Uh, and by the way, yeah, here I wanted to get to this other side because that's where the view is nice. But the view is kind of nice this way too. So let's, let's uh, enjoy the view here. You can be a world traveler and live stream everywhere, anywhere. Yes, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm actually hoping to do in the future. To travel more all over the world with my great family. And be able to do this. Moderator's Hammer Fun. Thank you, Toilet Brush Salesman. 
uh, and thank you Falando de Amen Amenidades. Here I'm go to about to go to bed. Okay, sleep tight, my friend. Uh, has sake grown on you? Oh, I like sake a lot, but usually I don't really buy sake myself very often. But quite often when I travel and I'm on work trips and have like fancier meals, then it usually comes with good sake, and it's always a joy to drink. Um, let's see what else he's saying. Redmans, I'm here. Welcome. Congrats for the one year. Thank you very much. Melody Matilde, I only missed three lives and there's already so many people. <laughs> Good to see you here. Uh, am I in Shibuya? No, I'm not in Shibuya. I'm in Akihabara. By the way, the default thumbnail for all my videos is actually shot down here. Like this, this view, but with a very different lens. I think it's shot with a 200 millimeter lens and at night. But uh, yeah, the view you are seeing on that default thumbnail, the night shot, it's down this way. Okay, Simon, thanks for stopping by. See you around next time. Close to 550 people now. Just keeps on growing. So yeah, I made it to Akihabara in half an hour. And as promised, I will let you dictate where I'm going from here. So the way I wanna, I'm gonna do this is at regular intervals from here on today, I will let you decide which direction I should walk. Um, so the only rule is that I won't go back the same way I came. So I came from the from the south, so I won't go south from here. But um, that being said, the options here are south, which is straight ahead, which will take me to Ueno eventually, through Akihabara and down to Ueno. That's one option. Another option is west, which will be this way, which will take me towards Tokyo Dome. And... Uh, yeah, if you keep going west, west, you will eventually get to like Ikebukuro. Um, and also, if I keep going north after Ueno, I will eventually hit Papa Noel. Actually, I will end, end up somewhere in uh, Minowa, I think. Or I could go east, which would take us towards Asakusabashi, which is a pretty popular uh, area. And uh, from Asakusabashi, if I continue walking east from there, I will cross, I think it's uh, Sumida, Sumida River. And I think eventually I will get towards um, um, Ryogoku and potentially even further. So you can look it up on a map where I am right now. I'm pretty close to Akihabara Station, so you can use that as a landmark. And uh, I will let you vote soon. And please vote by writing the first letter of the direction. So N for North, W for West, and E for East. South is not an option this time. And then once I reach the next like major waypoint or major station in that direction, I will let you vote again and again and again. So you will be in charge of where I will spend the rest of this stream, another three hours or so. So, uh, don't vote yet, folks. Don't vote, vote yet. Don't start voting until I tell you that the voting starts, okay? Um, and I will be... Uh, as always, I will go for the route that gets uh, the five, five votes quickest. Uh, so that's how I will do it. But all those votes you're casting now, I won't count those. So I will... I will wait until you stop uh, writing directions in the chat and then uh, I will announce the, the official starting of the vote. So yes, please don't vote yet. I was just practicing. Okay, Brad, good. Uh, you're very voting happy. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. 
And also, if you want to discuss in the chat and make up a strategy together, like, oh, if we keep voting north, he will end up in this super awesome area. So let's do that. Like, please go ahead. Uh, I won't interfere with any comments uh, regarding uh, future votes. Um, so uh, you can you can discuss those things uh, in internally. Here we have a little reflection reveal in the bus. Also, everybody riding that bus thought I was just a crazy person waving at them. Um, but yeah, I think we will start the voting now. So please go ahead and vote. Uh, north, east or west. And thank you. Uh, Oh, okay, that was Fungus Super Chats. Um, let's see, west, 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 west. Oh, wow. That's uh, pretty much west kicking the butt with every other option. So west it is. West is this way. That means I'm heading towards Tokyo Dome area. Which is uh, great, I think, because I've never actually been to Tokyo Dome on any of my live streams, as far as I can remember. So yeah, there we have it. I will walk towards Tokyo Dome and once we get to Tokyo Dome, I will let you vote again uh, where to go from there. And I will eat something and probably drink something on my way there as well. Thank you, wish for walking videos. Where are you moving from? You're in the US, right? Are you like a Japanese uh, citizen or something? Uh, or how how will you how are you able to get into the country? Have you been in the southwest of Tokyo? Um, exactly where do you mean? Southwest. Uh, basically, I live in the southwest of Tokyo, kind of, or in the south at least, not that far west maybe. Oh, thank you Jenny, first anniversary cake fun, thank you very much. And yes, a Zoom fan meeting, definitely. Uh, that's something I've been kind of thinking about for a long time and even discussing openly with my Patreon supporter and two supporters and um, it will probably happen at some point, but it will be as all the good stuff, it will be exclusive to my Patreon supporters. So uh, please consider joining me there if you haven't already. The link is in the video description. What about Discord? Yeah, that's also something that I'm planning to set up. And uh, that as well will be limited to my Patreon supporters. Um, otherwise, it would just be too much, too much hassle to moderate. And like I said, I prefer quality over quantity. So I'd rather have a nice little area where my most dedicated fans and followers can can uh, hang out, rather than uh, you know something that's open for thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, that's sad, right? The old Sega building, which used to be such an iconic Akihabara landmark, but now it's, it's not anymore. Can you do a live stream once, one day around the Ochanomizu district? Um, I walked through Ochanomizu many times during this year. Um, so, yeah. There's already plenty of Ochano Mizu videos on my channel, but I will probably pass through there again at some point. So current battery status, by the way, is 81%. We were at 95 when we started. So... 40 minutes drained about 15% battery. It's a big day today. 
today. Indeed it is, Marianne. One year anniversary. I should calculate how many hours of streams I've done so far. That would be kind of interesting. hot it's like I, I, I said the same thing yesterday it's this kind of weather where you don't really you kind of underestimate the heat and how much you're sweating because um, it's not that kind of heat that really like burns you <laughs> but it's still so hot that you're constantly like constantly sweating a fair bit um, but it's not that noticeable so I really need to um, recharge my, uh, or hydrate myself. Too humid. Yeah, it's just 57% humidity, so it's not that high actually, but it feels, yeah, uh, well, and that's a good point, Juan. Um, we need to have the total cone count. That's, um, that's race um, mission actually. That's why he got elevated to moderator in the first place. So he really needs... Um, yeah, he needs to, to put together a total cone count on my channel this far. Yeah, let's do a little break at the next combini we stumble across. I don't think Ray is here now, unfortunately, because he's in Europe and it's very, very early morning over there right now. Do a fit check yet? Fit check. What does that even mean? We did a weather check a while ago. We haven't done a Fitbit check yet, but uh, I don't think that's what you meant. But I walked 4,500 steps so far today. Let's see how many steps we will be at once this historical day ends. Outfit! Ah, I see. Fit, outfit, outfit. Okay. So, similar, similar color palette as uh, yesterday. But more like my shirt today is more green than blue. Uh, and uh, as always, my pink shorts and black sneakers. That's, you know, that's the look. That's the look. That's the look to go for this summer. Let's pass through here. I think last time I came here, this place was closed. But today it's open, so perfect. How many pink shorts do you own? Uh, just one or two pairs. I just wear them all the time. Some vending machines there, but they didn't look like they were accepting Suica. good roots here. Also some good historical statue person. 
nice place, very lush and green. Not all vending machines accept Suica. No, they don't. Um, most don't, actually. Usually, like in the stations, especially JR stations, they accept Suica because Suica is originally made by JR. Uh, but out on the streets, um, more often than not, uh, the vending machines are cash only. One of the things I like a lot about Tokyo is all these shrines and temples that you will find all over the city that are often a nice little kind of break from the from the rest of Tokyo and its hyper urbanism. Very nice. are taking photos of these decorations on the roof. Interesting. I actually don't know anything about this place, but it's quite... it's a shrine, right? Pretty sure it's a shrine, not a temple. And it's kind of different in style than most shrines. Ah, here we go. Here we have a little bit of Terajanai um, Shrine. Shrine of Confucius, Shrine of, Shrine of, Shrine of Shinno, and the site of Shoheizaka College. There you have it. Yushima, Yushima Temple. Is it a temple? I'm kind of confused now. Oh, that statue was Confucius. Yeah. Good job, Rockaway Siren. And yeah, if someone can clarify, do a bit of Wikipedia digging around and figure out if this is indeed a shrine or a temple. Now I'm starting to think it's actually a temple. Didn't see any tori anywhere. And if it's Confucius, he's not really Shinto, right? As you hear, my knowledge about Japanese religion is quite limited. And it's also kind of convoluted. <laughs> Sometimes you have shrines within temples and temples within shrines as well. So it's like a little bit, can be a little bit like these Russian dolls. It predates Shinto, I think. Thank you, old school Bible. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There's a combini here. But oh and actually there's a park here. So let's get a little combini emergency pack. 
um, and do a little break in the park up here. Let's do that. Hey, okay, it's a temple to Confucius. I, I am familiar with who Confucius is, but uh, yeah, confusing. <laughs> Today I will buy a bit of a special package here. It will be a kind of light lunch because I definitely need to eat something with a bit of nutrition right now I feel. So let's do, let's go for a mm, Let's try this one. Wasabi mesh. It's wasabi and rice soy sauce and then I will get a beer because it's my birthday no it's not my birthday but it's the birthday of the channel sadly the beer selection is not super exciting but let's do a premium premium ones. This is a premium day today. And then also since it's a birthday we need some sort of cake. So let's get a little bit of cake as well. Some sort of dessert. and chocolate cake. Okay, folks, time for the first break today since there's this little park here. I thought it's a good, good time and also just good to sit down for a moment, get a drink, get some cake and recharge the batteries. Thank you YL and thank you, I, I noticed there was a bunch of super chats coming in while I was in the Combini. Uh, you're really generous today folks, I, I'm so, uh, thank you so much. Thank you Marianne, thank you uh, Terry Leung, thank you so much. Thank you YL as well. そう、ビールとおにぎりとケークはちょっとおかしい組み合わせですね。Beer yeah, cake and onigiri is a very weird uh, combination. Uh, but uh, I'm a weird person, so I think it suits me. Let's anniversary. Yes. Toto, let's. おめでとう。ありがとうございます。Uh, yeah, the chat is crazy busy. We have 600 viewers now. So I'm sorry if I'm not responding to all of you. Fungus should be mentioned as well. Yes, fungus should also always be mentioned uh, because I always need to apologize to him for never buying the thing he wants me to buy, which is kimchi and natto. Unfortunately, they did ha didn't have any kimchi and natto flavored sweets 
uh, at that specific combini. So yeah, apologies for that. Also, there's some slides here, but uh, generally I try to not point the camera towards children, especially not for extended periods of time. So I think you will have to do with looking at my food while I'm having this very strange little anniversary, sad and strange anniversary celebrationary dinner. So, onigiri. Oh. Oh, thank you Garfield. Keep on the motivation. Thank you. Biru to keiki mo katta. はい。今日誕生僕の誕生日だから。ケーキ買いました。はい。そうです、その<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 僕のランチ。なんで本当に。はい。今YouTube やってます。はい。そう。はい。オッケー、トゥマニキッズ So, uh, yeah, lunch time. Cake is a Toy Story design, I see. Yeah, I thought it looked like some sort of uh, this figure. I don't recognize it, but it looked familiar. Sorry, I'm, I was just lying blatantly to the kids, but it would be too complicated to explain to them what I'm really doing. This is quite nice. It's just rice with a bit of soy, but then there's a chunk of wasabi in the middle. Yeah, some pipe. And apologies to my American viewers. I know that it's very offensive to drink beer around kids, but in. Um, uh, eh? ケーキはビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。ビール。
who this alien was, but I didn't really understand. Super cute kids though. Definitely super cute kids. Okay, let's open this cake. Share with the kids. Yeah, I wish. I wish I could, but I... Yeah. I can't really involve them too much in the stream without their permission, so... Let's see, how do I open this without damaging it? That's the challenge, I guess. Ah. Okay, I failed. It broke a little bit. Now it has a mouth. That was not intentional, but that's what it looks like. So now it's beer and cake time. So, nigiri wa mo tabemashita. Boku chotto hayasu giru tabemasu. Chotto itsu mo tabeta ato wa chotto onaka ga itaku naru kedo itsu mo itsu mo hayaku tabemasu. じゃあ、いただきます。ケーキいただきます。わあ。ケーキ。ケーキ大丈夫かよ。ベコットチェリー。うん。こっちも食べられる。はい。全部食べます。They keep coming back. Yeah. They maybe they want a bite of this cake. Super cute. I think the parents are are just uh, they're they're here too. I don't think they're here alone. There's a few adults around. Yeah, if I knew that I had a bunch of kids joining me, then I would have gotten something for them as well. Now I'm just super selfish, but this cake is good. It's like chocolate and nuts inside mm. Mm. I like this one mm. very tasty now it looks like it's in a state of chalk yeah it certainly I've seen better days <laughs> Maybe they will ask their parents for cake. <laughs> Almost done. Okay, cake has been consumed. My happiness level has increased. So has my energy level. Um, now, just give me a moment to finish this beer and we will soon be on our way again towards Tokyo Dome on this anniversary birthday stream. How's the premium malt beer? Uh, it's good. It's actually quite tasty, but it's うん。もう食べた。もう食べました。美味しかった。でも1個しかなかった。すみませんね。面白いですか? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ライブ配信やってます。はい。みんなはあの、今見えます。今600人ぐらい見てる見てます。はい。このケーク見ました。あ、顔出さないでとください。すみません。食べてんだ。あ、顔出さないでと。ください。すみません。食べてる。食べた
<笑>ビルの匂いしますねすみませんめっちゃビール飲めたくなっちゃった<笑>ちゅうちゃんいこう<笑>早い行くの早い行くのビデオボンバイデチルドンやあっちはそれがマスクだったけど。I think I need to get going now. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my beer as well. So let's get going. I'm gonna say goodbye to them. <laughs> But now they ran away. I can't even see them anymore. Super cute. Super cute kids. <laughs> yeah, that was a quick break. A quick but a good break. <laughs> I think I can throw away my trash here as well. Yes. Okay. We got a little energy boost there. Uh, thank you all for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed that little interaction with the super cute kids. I would have loved to talk more to them, but it's a bit kind of borderline. I don't know if it's okay to do that when live streaming、uh, without getting the permission of the parents first. So I was a little bit、um, uncomfortable.、Um, I don't want to offend anyone. Buy a cake for the kids, yeah. I should. Uh, I should, I should, but that could also come across as a bit creepy and weird, I guess.、Um, thank you so much,、uh, Aben Lemtur. Thank you so much. Wow, I have no idea how much that is, but it looks like it's a lot, so thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, that's the good and the bad thing about live streaming, right? It's like it's always a lot of fun to have organic interactions like that happen. That's usually something I enjoy a lot, and I know that you, my dear viewers, also enjoy it. But、uh, it's also, especially here in Japan, it's you kind of should let people know beforehand that they're gonna get. Captured on camera if you plan on doing so.、Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a headache, but. Thank you, Ross, for the currency conversion, and thank you very much for the donation. Six hundred twenty-two people watching now. Not bad at all. Wow, I didn't know. I wonder. Tokyo Medical and Dental University. Okay. And here's Tokyo Garden Palace. Tokyo Garden Palace Hotel. I didn't know. I don't think I've ever walked on this street before, actually. See? That's what, you know, running this channel does to me. I explore so much new all the time. Yes, my tripod is the DJI OM4. Your stream is pretty stable. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, I made sure to calibrate the gimbal before today's stream. Because I notice if I don't do it before every stream, it sometimes feels like it's not as stable. But I think today the image should be quite stable, right? And thank you, and 
let's see, I think I got another super chat. Le Million, again, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Is this still part of the original walk? No. Now we've, we went to Akihabara and then I let my viewers vote on uh, which direction to take from there. So we are not uh, part of the original walk anymore. From here on it will be all up to my viewers where I will end up today. So next stop is Tokyo Dome. Once we get to Tokyo Dome my viewers will get to vote once again which direction to take. So for those of you who are new and just joined the stream, that's how, how we're doing it today. I will walk until my battery dies and uh, it will all be up to my viewers where I end up. So it's, uh, it's like choose your own adventure, but in real life and in Tokyo. Still pretty cloudy. Yeah, it's, the sky is just gray. It's just gray everywhere. It's not, at least it's not raining, so I shouldn't complain. Yeah, I might end up in Shinjuku. If you keep keep telling me to go west, that's where I will end up. So, so yeah. Shinjuku could very well end up being the, the final destination for today's walk. I will change instead of walking next to this big road I will take these smaller side streets they're usually more fun this looks like okay so this is Bunkyoku Yushima what is Sogo Center some sort of community center but I think it's also school or a kindergarten uh, we can pass across here right Damn it! I just realized I made a pretty, pretty serious um, mistake today. That kind of might potentially ruin the plan or the idea of going until the battery runs out. I forgot to lower the bitrate uh, of this stream. So I'm streaming at 6,000 kilobits per second and uh, I have a daily limit of 10 gigs per day of data. Uh, after that, I'll get um, slower speeds. My speed will downgrade to 3 megabits per second. Which isn't enough to maintain a stable stream. And will probably just cause tons of buffering after that. So, uh, we'll see how long we are able to go. It may not be the, the um, battery that limits this stream but i think at least three hours should be fine with this bitrate so um, and i can't change it on the fly i can't change it without starting a new stream so yeah once we get lots of buffering we know that there's probably the data limit issue so that might be what ends this stream today so i'm sorry about that I can't adjust bandwidth on the fly now. I don't think I can. Wait, let me try. Actually, I've never tried. Let's see. Okay. So I just changed it now. But it looks like it's still 6,000, so... There's a sign here saying that there's actually some available apartments. So if any of you feel tempted to move here. Yeah, I changed the setting, but it's still streaming at the same bitrate. So, so it didn't actually uh, change. It probably changes next time I start a new stream. 
but at least three hours will be good so maybe that's long enough but it's a little bit of a bummer because it would have been fun to to kind of try to push the limits a little bit today let's oh, cross here This way is towards Saitama. Am I? Have I been knocked off course? Let me check the map. This America area looks familiar. Where are we? We are. The nearest station is Hongo San Chome. Uh, and yes, I need to head this direction. I am heading towards Tokyo Dome right now. So it's this way. It came from Akihabara, which is down there. Now, so I'm in the in an area called Hongo. No, wait. No, this way. This way, actually. This way and then left. We're pretty close to Suidobashi. Yeah, we're heading towards Suidobashi. Would it be pushing to do two streams today, a romantic nighttime dinner? Um, I wouldn't mind, but uh, I think um, I need to, you know, okay, take care of the rest of my family after this stream. Um, so, um, yeah, it's quite tiring for my wife to spend the entire day with our daughter. She's quite demanding after all. Okay, here we have a map. Um, so, a park, a museum. We are here. We came from down here. But we are heading this way towards Koraku and Suidobashi direction. I think Tokyo Dome is like here. Let's map. <laughs> yep. I think another five minutes or so we should be close to Tokyo Dome. Here we have what looks like another really old building. I just love how in Tokyo and everywhere, even the most fancy areas, you sometimes find this, these super old buildings or workshops. Brick line, yes. I try to walk on top of it just to make the image more symmetrical. That's what happens when you've spent most of your life as a professional photographer. You care about composition all the time. So, like shooting like this would, would just annoy me so much. Or like this. So, yeah. <laughs> lady coming here nice wonder what she where she was going and does the yellow brick line have an official function yeah, yeah, yeah it's for uh, uh, 
blind people or, or people with impaired eyesight to figure out how to walk because it kind of diverts when there's a street crossing and uh, the pattern on top also changes so that's what it's for what's the charges for roadside parking I don't know I don't know ah I think that's Tokyo Dome that's where we're heading um, I don't know because I don't have a car and I never drive so I don't know what it costs to park but I think it's quite expensive so yeah these ones have like dots and I don't know exactly what this what the dots here means but usually they also have dots yeah once you reach a, a street crossing see then the pattern changes from these lines to to these dots so that uh, they know that they need to be careful because there are cars So we're now at 66% battery after 1 hour and 21, 22 minutes of streaming. So yeah, I think with a... Yeah, I think data might end up being the limiting factor today, not battery life. But we'll see, we'll see. Still plenty of battery yeah I, that means I should have another like three hours worth of battery so battery is definitely holding up pretty well this part of Tokyo is pretty hilly which gives it a bit of a different look feasible to commute with bicycle sure sure it is it depends on where you live and your physical limitations but uh, definitely you could do that you could do that are bikes not allowed to ri ride on the road they are they are they're actually supposed to be on the road but they're also allowed to be on the on the pedestrian side of things when necessary. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty neat uh, jet coaster. Is that what you call it? Roller coaster. Over here at Tokyo Dome. I didn't know. Like I've, I've, I think I've been to Tokyo Dome once. This might very well be like second time in my life that I approach this famous landmark here in Tokyo which is kind of weird also this cafe looks like it could potentially be quite awesome coffee house Akko with that sign it has to be good but I'm not going there right now So again, for if there's any new viewers around, today is the one year anniversary of my live streams. It's been exactly one year since my first live stream on this channel. So happy birthday to, to me, I guess. Um, so in today's stream, it's all up to my viewers where I will end up. So I gave you the option a while ago, once we hit Akihabara, I gave you a few options, which direction to head, and you voted on west, which took us to Tokyo Dome, which is where we are now. And since we are here, it's time to decide where to go from here. So uh, let me give you a little bit of an update on the map situation. Uh, wow, a lot of people here. Interesting. 
This looks like a popular area. So Tokyo Dome City is apparently a big amusement park. I kind of knew that, but I, I also realized that I forgot that it is. I thought it was just like a sporting arena. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty fun looking amusement park actually. I could see myself come here with my daughter once she gets a little bit uh, older maybe. Uh, but for now, uh, we will just take a little look, bit of a look around here. And then I will soon let you decide which direction to go from here. Let me just cross this street first. Papa Noel is waiting for you. Yeah. Let's see if you vote me to walk towards Papa Noel. Ah, did you see that? Wow. They're upside down as well. That looks like fun. I haven't, I haven't been on one of those in, I don't know, how many years. Looks like it could be fun to ride a roller coaster again. This thing looks kind of interesting too. Not so, not so violent, but still you're high up enough to, to get that cozy feeling in your stomach. Yeah, I should definitely come here, enjoy myself. can walk through the Tokyo Dome area, I think. It looked like I can, right? Shall we have a look? See if it's actually possible? I don't know if I can walk this way. Yeah, it looks like we can walk through here. So I guess we have to do that. I guess we have to do that. Uh, thank you, Robot Tayaki. Hello from Tahiti. Hello to you. Hello, Tahiti. Here we have a little Sega game center. Interesting. They're not all closed. This one is still alive and kicking, obviously. Former name was Korakuen Amusement Park. I see, I did not know that. Wow, there's a lot of people here. There's certainly a lot of people here today. So this feels like it could potentially be a thumbnail. I have no idea where to go from here, but there's the Tokyo Dome thing. So I guess I need to walk around it somehow. Wow, it's so weird. I've lived here for 13 years. I've never been here. I think I came here like once on an assignment many, many years ago to shoot something. But that's it. Other than that, I've never really passed this area before. It's pretty massive. I'm shooting with a super wide angle lens today. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I could not get all the fun stuff in the frame. So we 
to Dome City. La Qua. Is that the name of the roller coaster? Maybe. Let's see, I'll be heading. Yeah, I want to pass this whole area. Oh, okay, so someone says that there's a. Or not someone. Uh, and Moji-san says that Exile is having a live today. Exile is a popular, I think it's a boy band. I'm not really sure, uh, but it's a, it's a band. That, and judging on the demographic of the audience, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, yeah, it's, it's mostly teenage girls. So seems like it should be uh, a boy band playing in the house. Let's see if we can get the roller coaster here to pass in the frame. And here I can finally pass the whole area. So maybe we will have a new vote soon where to go from here. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's I, I'm kind of surprised that I haven't really been here before. It just blows my mind. It feels like such a place that I should have at least passed through countless times by now for various reasons. What's the distance you walk to reach there? Uh, so far today I walked 7,300 steps. So not that much actually. Um, okay, so maybe let's go to this pedestrian bridge. Uh, we can get an update on where we are and I will give you some, some options and let you decide where to go from here. That's, it says Korakuen Station. So that's on Marunouchi Line, I think. Mar Marunouchi Line and Namboku Line as well. Oh, Ray, good morning. Morning. So, good morning and thanks for the super chat, Ray. Um, so we are now, like, if you want to look at a map where I am, you can uh, just search for Korakuen Station. Oh, it's only written in Japanese here. But anyway, that station is over there. Um, so I came from the east, so I won't be heading to the east. But if I walk north, I will head towards... My kind of head towards Sugamo area or potentially Komagome area. Which is a neighborhood in the north of Tokyo. Sugamo is famous for being the Harajuku for old ladies or for old people. Uh, if I head west, I will head towards Waseda University. First Edogawa Bashi Station and then Waseda University. And then if I keep walking west, I will eventually get to Takada no Baba. And if I walk south from here, I will head towards Suido Bashi and then later Kudanshita Station. And if I keep walking, I will uh, reach the Imperial Palace. So that are the options right now. So don't vote yet. Don't vote yet. Um, I will tell you when the voting starts. And as always, the first option that gets five votes is the, it's the direction I'll be heading. Um, so you can write either 
N for North, uh, W for West, or S for South. So start walk we're voting now. West, South, North, South, South, South. South has four votes. Oh, South. Oh, I need to check which one actually won. Looks like it's South. Yeah, I think South won. By a tiny margin, but South won. So that means we are heading... It should be this way, right? Let me, let me check, just to make sure. But I think this is South. Okay, you can stop voting now. It's already been decided that I'm heading south. Um, I just need to figure out... No, this is not south. This is south. Okay. So, I will start by heading back down to street level. And then I will work my way to towards the south and uh, towards let's see so the next waypoint will be hmm, i guess i will walk down to kudansta station which is just at the northern northernmost point of the imperial palace and once we get there i will let you vote again i think this is fun I enjoy letting you <laughs> dictate this day. It makes it much easier for me. Then I don't need to worry as much. Uh, so it looks a little bit complicated. I'm kind of trying to figure out which route to take from here. Because I can't really walk straight south from here. It looks like I need to head back. Back a little bit where I came from. This direction. And then... I can walk south. Yes, the National Museum of Modern Arts is in that direction as well. That is true. I don't think, I'm not sure if I've actually been there. Just trying to get tea towards Marinochi for a coffee. I see you want me to get to the coffee person. It, it might happen. It's certainly not impossible. Uh, we shall see. Which way to the joyful Minoa? Oh, that's north. That's north, my friend. So, um, unfortunately, I think... Minoa is pretty much out of the question now. It's, I'm heading in the opposite direction. Uh, I actually should have voted north when I was in Akihabara um, in order for me to get towards Joyful Minoa. So yeah, no Papa Noel today, that's for sure. But yeah, we... Potentially, I might end up at Coffee Person, which is almost as good, if not as good. Potentially even better. How many days would it take to see all of Tokyo? Um, I lived here for 13 years and uh, I haven't seen nearly all of Tokyo yet. So... Um, I would say it's more like a lifetime project if you want to embark on that. Uh, but that being said, I think I think two weeks is a good good minimum time if you're visiting Tokyo for the first time. That will give you a kind of sense of the city and you have enough time to explore a little bit. Personally, I don't really think going shorter than that. I mean... I mean, to a lot of people, even two weeks is not really realistic, right? And of course, then, sure, three days in Tokyo is better than zero days in Tokyo. 
but it's a big place with lots of things to see and do and uh, in order for you to not just come here and leave before you get a sense or a feeling of what this place actually is then yeah I recommend people who can to, to stay a little bit longer I mean, yeah, I lived there 13 years. There's still like train lines I've never been using and there's still, you know, neighborhoods that I have never set my foot in. Uh, so, uh, hmm. which is kind of the, one of the main reasons why it's so, so amazing to live here. Because you will never get bored. But yeah, I'd really recommend two weeks if you're coming for the first time. Because I don't, I don't like when people kind of come here for three days and then they think that they kind of know Tokyo. But like for, when I came here, the first two weeks, I was just walking around with my mouth wide open, salivating at how amazing everything was. And uh, it was just like being like, I don't know, like being high or something. It was like, it was just very kind of overwhelming. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, but with two weeks, then you have a little bit of time to kind of let everything sink in. You also have the time to do a day trip or two to like the outskirts, explore the greener parts, you know, the mountains in the west or the beaches in the south go to places like Kamakura and by the way when I say Tokyo I don't mean like Tokyo City I mean the Tokyo region which essentially is like one big mega city even though it's like technically made up out of a handful of cities What's your opinion on the cost of living in Tokyo? That's a common question that I get asked a lot. I should actually write something about that in the FAQ, I think. Um, but uh, I think it's reasonable. I think uh, you, can, you can get by for surprisingly cheap, um, considering that Tokyo is, you know, one of the biggest cities in the world. It's in a country where the general price level is not super cheap. Um, but still, I think you can have a decent life here for less than it would cost you to have a decent life in, say, New York or Paris or London. But of course, if you compare it to countries where the price, general price level is way lower, uh, then, uh, yeah, Tokyo might come across as expensive, of course. So, so, yeah, cost of living is very relative to where you come from and what price level you're accustomed with. Well, I mean, I have friends and friends of friends who come here on a really tight budget and they still get to enjoy a lot of things because like you you know if you look around you can actually get like a decent meal for like 500 yen or five dollars which you know even at a decent restaurant in the center of Shibuya or Shinjuku for example uh, I don't think you can get a decent lunch for that kind of money in a city like yeah Paris or New York or London So now we are heading south. Now we're at Suidobashi station here. Down here, and now we'll continue a little bit further south. And we'll eventually hit the, the northern tip of the Imperial Palace. Once we get there, I will let you vote again. Yeah, cheaper in Tokyo than Finland for sure. Yeah, I think it's cheaper in Tokyo than Stockholm as well. So 
チャンネルは川崎も行くですかはいそうです僕は川崎の近くに住んでますから時々川崎の方も行きますあバッテリーライフ is currently 58% and we are approaching 1 hour and 45 minutes of、uh, streaming time Here is Suidobashi Station, which is a station on the Sobu Line, which is a line that runs from Shinjuku to Chiba. I think I passed here actually when I did my epic walk from Tokyo Station to Takao, which is almost half a year now, half a year ago now.、Uh, I walked all the way from Tokyo Station to Takao in the far west of Tokyo. That was crazy. That was one of my favorite walks so far, actually. Thank you, Book0011. Thank you so much. I hope you can come back soon as well. やってほしい江ノ電の動画もありますね江ノ電の乗る動画がありますけど江ノ電の散歩はまだやったことないですねそれやった方がいいですね藤沢から鎌倉,鎌倉までそれは1日でできると思います So, this is a live one. I don't know if I'm going to do it. So, I haven't. I haven't、um, yeah, someone mentioned that I should walk or I should do Enoden, which is the train line in Enoshima. And the video I have of riding that is quite popular on my channel. But I should actually do a walk when I walk that entire train line. That would be a very nice walk. I'm actually surprised that I haven't thought about that earlier. I have to do that. お元気ですかはい、元気です。元気です。もう2時間、二時間ぐらい散歩したけど、ちょっと暑くて、ちょっと疲れてるけど、でも元気。What's this building? Some sort of school, maybe? Ah, it's, it's a university. It's a Nihon University. I see.、Hmm. Tokyo Dental College. This is actually also a, a part of Tokyo that I'm very, very unfamiliar with. I'm not sure if I've ever walked on this street before. Well, well over 700 people watching now. Thank you and welcome. If there are any new viewers out there, Uh, welcome! Hope you enjoy this walk. I do live walks like this almost every day. So if you think that's something you enjoy, then I strongly suggest that you subscribe to my channel.、Um, if 
you are new, I also recommend that you read the FAQ, which is linked in the video description, uh, where you find answers to questions like who I am, what I'm doing in Japan, what equipment I use, and all those kind of things. And um, also, if you really like this channel, I uh, would be very happy if you wanted to join me on Patreon. The link is in the video description. And uh, joining me there gives you access to Patreon-only streams that I do quite often. I might do one today. I probably have to do one today after this stream. Um, probably need to take a break for a while and recharge the batteries since I'm planning to run until I'm out of battery. If we run out of data, I'm not sure. Maybe I can stream from my iPhone, which has a different plan, which should work okay if we're not moving around too much. Uh, but yeah. I think that's it. And I think I need to sit down again soon. I'm getting a bit tired again. And I need to hydrate, actually. I only had that beer. I didn't have any other drinks so far today since I started this stream. So no wonder. There's actually a vending machine down here. Let's check it out. I should get like a pokari sweat or something. We got the shot for COVID-19. No, I was supposed to get it two days ago, but I had to postpone it due to mail not reaching me in time. But actually I have a new booking now for next, like a one week from now, so on Saturday. So hopefully I will get it done. Uh, but it's really difficult to get a booking right now because it's all fully booked. I'll go into this family mart, by the way. These. This is also kind of like a dehydration drink. It's very tasty, salty lychee. Maybe I should get a papiko as well. No, I'll save that for a later break. Drink ghetto. Have a drink. Have a drink. Ah, wait, now I know. I passed this street a couple of times actually. But then I walked on that side of the street and I always like the, the way the facades look. And I, I think I said that this street reminds me of China, where I used to live many years ago. For some reason, it gave me the vibe of the Shanghai street. Basically Gatorade, kinda. I don't really know, I haven't really analyzed the recipe, but probably something, something similar, yes. Just see if I can find a place. Yeah, let this mailbox here. <clears throat> COVID vaccine might be useless to Delta variant. Oh no, it's pretty proven that the vaccine is effective against the Delta variant as well. Maybe not as effective, but still very effective. Ah, can't bite. Yeah, maybe it's the trees that makes me look like... Mm.
maybe it's the trees that give it me the Shanghai vibe. And yes, the vaccines offered here in Japan are Pfizer and Moderna. Pretty much finished this in almost one go. Shunen, on my to arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. I finished it. I really needed that one. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Miyazaki, I know Skull. I, I don't think I've tried it, but... Uh, I don't think I've tried it, but um, I know it. Oh, it used to be Kyushu only drink. I did not know that. <coughs> It's funny because the name sounds almost like Skål, which is Kampai in Swedish. Skål, Skål. Finished in one sip, pretty much, yeah. I was thirsty, I indeed was thirsty. Fujisan was here to the sea, so yes. Fujisan was not going to be able to the sea. Here. Chokochan, arigato gozaimasu. Anniversary, omedeto. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato, honto ni. Oh, someone's asking about fire hydrants. Yes. I've never really paid much attention to the fire hydrant situation in Tokyo. But I will try to be a bit more mindful and see if we actually see any fire hydrants. Five hundred likes, yay! That's not bad at all. I forgot, but isn't the record like seven hundred during the stream? If that's the case, I think we should be able to to get that. Oh, was is it just six hundred? That's the record. Then yeah, we really need to. Uh, improve on that. Okay, so here's Jimbocho station actually. Yeah, that's what I thought We're here Jimbocho station So I would keep heading south Which I think should be this direction Jimbocho is famous for the huge number of bookstores and uh, Mainly antique bookshops It's a really nice area actually worth uh, exploring if you if you enjoy old books and magazines, you can easily spend a day there without getting bored. So yeah, here's the Jimbocho station. Shinjuku line, Mita line, Hanzo Oma line stops here. So we are here. Since we're supposed to hit the north part of the Imperial Garden, I will go down here and then up here, I think, rather than this way. This way is more interesting. I 
I think we do see fire hydrants every now and then in Tokyo, but I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> now when you're asking about it, I don't really know. Nice building, this old, looks like a very old one. That's also a bookstore, obviously. Oh, great, I found some trash cans. So I can get rid of my empty bottle. I just passed one. A fire hydrant? Did I? Where? I don't see one. Oh, in here? Oh wait, this is a fire hydrant, right? Right. This is for fighting fires. I had more the, the idea in my head of, uh, you know, these standalone things on the streets. Big boxes? Oh, like this one. That box over there. I don't know, is that a fire hydrant? I, I thought that was like for electricity and telecommunications and those kind of things. But yeah, my, my knowledge about the essential infrastructure of Tokyo is clearly, clearly, clearly lacking. So, apologies for that. Looks like Ray knows what he's talking about. Great. Maybe the cones are disguised fire hydrants. Here. Maybe we need a yeah fire hydrant counter, or maybe a, I should start a fire hydrant streaming channel. Thank you, Lorianne Alba, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Dream idea visiting all 14 trash cans in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. What about this? Could this be some sort of fire hydrant? I think this logo is Tepco though. So maybe it's not. Maybe this is some electricity related thing. Maybe these fire hydrants. I don't know. I really don't know. What I do know is that I see that gigantic tori in front of Yasukuni Shrine down there. That's the direction we're heading now. Battery level is currently at 51% and we just passed two hours of streaming. So, some simple math tells me that we probably have patched past the midpoint or the halfway point of today's stream or that we're passing that right now unless unless the data limit of 10 gigabytes per day will kick in sooner than that you know about road maintenance um what i know is that they do very often maintain the roads in central tokyo they do like fix the asphalt really often actually they spend a, a terrible amount of uh, money on keeping the roads in good condition um so yeah that's but that's about it and as soon as you leave tokyo and the quality of the roads uh, drops considerably, pretty fast actually.
but yes, in central Tokyo, the, the, the streets, the roads are usually close to perfect. Where is Uguisudani Eki? Uh, pretty far from here. Uguisudani is next to Ueno, slightly north of Ueno. So uh, we, we could have been there by now, but since my viewers directed me to walk in the complete opposite direction. We're pretty far from Ugusidani right now. Walk Kanda Riverside. Yeah, so I guess now we are really close to the Imperial Palace. Um, so I think it is soon time for you to have another boat uh, and walking along Kanda River will be one of the options. It might actually even be two of the options because both, both east and west would take me along Kanda River but then again uh, if I go east from here I will kind of walk back towards where I started today and I don't really want to walk in circles, so I don't think that's going to be an option. So here is, I guess this is Kanda River. Should be right. Yes, it, it is. Kanda. I'm not sure about the name of this river, but I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it should be Kanda River. Anyway, it's a river. Let's just leave it at that. And um, as I am next to Kudanshita Station, if you look it up on Google Maps, you can find where I am. Um, the place I started today's stream was Nihonbashi, which is this way. So I won't be heading that direction. I won't be heading this direction either, because that's where I came from. So the options right now... Oh, look at this bird. Uh, the options now are to head east, no, sorry, west, along the river, west along the river here, or to head south towards the Imperial Palace. And if I do that, I guess my next, uh, my next waypoint would be near Takebashi Station. Takebashi station. So, as always, don't vote yet. Don't vote before I tell you to do so, please. Um, so the options are South, S, which will take me towards the Imperial Garden, or West, which will take me towards uh, Yasukuni Shrine. Oh, okay, that's actually Yasukuni Shrine. Ah, oh, wait, sorry, I'm, I'm lying blatantly to all of you right now. This is actually south, north, sorry, this is north. And it will take me back to Suidobashi, so that's not an option. I will head either this way towards Yasukuni Jinja, and that, my friends, are west. That's west. Or I could head more like this way, which would be south, and which would take me towards Imperial Palace and uh, eventually, potentially, towards uh, Marunouchi. So south or west? Vote now. South or west? South, 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 west, west, south, west, west. South, south one. Okay, it was very even there for a moment, but we are heading south which means we are walking this direction and nothing else uh, so I guess I should cross here so yeah 
sorry about the confusion. Um, let's go to Akihabara. We already been to Akihabara. We were in Akihabara an hour and a half ago. South means Imperial Garden or Imperial Palace direction. So you are in luck, my friend. You, the person who said you wanted to see Imperial Palace. I'm just a little bit confused. Ah, it's clearing up. It, I'm, it's getting clearer now. Okay, I will cross over there and then walk this way. There we have it. Sorry about me getting a little bit lost. Tokyo can be confusing. This is, anyway, Kudanshita Station. Yeah, confused. I think I need a coffee, actually. Probably need an iced coffee break soon. Indeed a big place, yeah. That's certainly true. I did not know, but there's a camera store here. Camera Hirai. It's less crowded than pre-COVID times. <sighs> Difficult to say, like, it varies a lot depending on the area. I'm not sure how different a place like this is compared to pre-COVID, but um, certainly some areas are way, way less crowded. Thank you, Garfield Mac, Motivation Part 2. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I won't head to Yasukuni Jinja today. Uh, I will instead follow the the moat uh, around the Imperial Palace. Tokyo is all squares and rectangles. Yeah, that's one way of say, saying it, which I won't argue too much with. I think Tokyo is uh, great if you're suffering from OCD because you have a very high number of very neat and tidy lines in this city. It's always funny when YouTube asks me if it's time to take a break. You've been watching for two hours. No, I've been streaming for two hours. I'm not going to take a break. Two hours is nothing. Two hours is just a warm-up. Thank you mods, thank you very much. And yes, face reveals, it happens all the time. Here's another one, here's another one for you. But if you want a slightly less obstructed face reveal, I recommend that you join me on Patreon because then you will get access to my Patreon only streams in which I do indeed show my face. And you also get to know me a little bit better. So if you think that's something you would enjoy, and if you want to support the channel, uh, yeah, joining Patreon would be highly appreciated. So I think what I need to do... I'm always a bit confused when I get here, but here's the moat. Oh wow, look! It's full of... Is this, are these lotuses? Well, thank you, Boom Shakalaka. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, we just we just hit 150 followers on Patreon. 
So big thank you to everybody who's joining me there. You are my, you are my real friends. Um, and you truly keep my motivation up and keep this channel going. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I need to take a look at the map here. Um, this is a little bit confusing. You voted for south, right? Uh, this way is... I think my Google Maps is a bit wonky. It keeps telling me... Google says this is north. Is that so? Does that mean we should indeed we should actually be heading this way? I I see. So that's how we're supposed to do it. Okay, okay, I got it now. We are lost, we are lost. But that okay, I thought I was supposed to go this way, but I'm not because that's not what you voted for. You voted for south. So at this I need to go down here again and then turn this way. Then we will be on the right trap. Right track. Oh my god, I can't even speak properly. Sorry about all the confusion. Best live streams when he gets lost. Well, I'm happy that you're taking it that way rather than getting mad at me. So thank you for your acceptance of my flaws. I truly appreciate that. This is the way we're heading. This is the way we're heading. This, my friend, my friends, this is south. Kind of like southeast, to be honest, but it's as close to south as we get. And um, oh, thank you, my little Patreon marketing rant just now actually got me another supporter on Patreon. So thank you, Jen. Thank you very much. Thank you, and apologies in advance for having to deal with my my face. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining. I hope you will enjoy the exclusive Patreon-only content. I'm pretty sure that we broke the super chat record today, by the way. So thank you all for that. That is very kind of you. And I do uh, really, you help me with my motivation. Does he ever show his face? Yes, I do all the time, but only on Patreon. Only to my Patreon supporters. Here on YouTube, the videos that are public, um, I do not show my face, other than the occasional reflection reveal. What kind of content is on Patreon, apart from your face? So it's kind of like, um, what I do is like usually after the walks, I kind of sit down and have a drink or sometimes a meal and uh, kind of more relaxed chat with you my supporters and followers so uh, yeah a little bit more personal and not really walking around but more like sitting down um, and having a nice little friendly time together so it's not for everyone but if you think that would be for you then by all means make sure to join me there then there's a few other perks as well you can join my postcard club which will get you a postcard with one of my photos sent to your mailbox every month. Uh, so that's also something that you can only get by supporting me on Patreon. 
and a little bit of other stuff. You can read all about it in the in the link or on the Patreon page, which is linked in the video description. Quite nice here. <laughs> I can hear T's inner voice. Is my face not enough? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think my face is should be the reason for anyone to join my Patreon, to be honest. That's, that's not what it's about. Uh, it's more about maybe for those of you who want to easier connect with me directly and get to know me a little bit better. If that's you, then you should join my Patreon. Regardless of what my face looks or like or not. Oh, and thank you, Rockaway Siren. So you, yeah, you also highlighted something there. Uh, I also have a public Spotify playlist that I only share with my Patreon supporters. Uh, as a response to the constant question about what music I listen to. Well, you can find out by joining me on Patreon. Are we doing a four plus hour stream today? Maybe, possibly. We are walking until I run out of battery. Uh, or until my 10 gigabit, gigabyte per day data limit is reached. Whichever happens first. Uh, we've been going for 2 hours and 22 minutes so far. So yeah, Imperial Palace is somewhere up here, I guess. But... Actually, this looks like some random dungeon. Doesn't look very royal at all. Uh, I didn't know. Is there actually a residential area up here? That's kind of sick. Uh, Ray, you should be able to calculate which we will hit first. I'm streaming at 6,000 kilobits per second. So it should be quite easy to do the math see how long 10 gigabytes will last me. Thank you, Oscar Castro. I got to go now. Wish you all a good week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ah, you were here when the new emperor was sworn in, Petri? Nice, I was not here. I was in Tokyo, but I was not... I was not watching it in person. I was just watching it on TV. What are the green leaves in the water? I do not know. These, I think, are lotus. The bigger ones. These smaller ones, I don't know. Maybe someone else knows? If you do know, please... Educate us. Apparently it was in the news a while ago that some some crazy person climbed this wall. That's a pretty good way to get you arrested. Those are algae. I don't think these are algae. These are, you know, it's not just like some green smudge. It is proper leaves floating on the surface. Al algae is more like this kind of disgusting looking yeah, smudge. Oh, some sort of TV recording. Check the map. We are heading towards the Marunochi area where my good old friend coffee person 
could potentially still be. Uh, and I got another Patreon supporter just now. Thank you, Prop. Thank you very much for joining my wallpaper club. So that's also uh, something that I have on Patreon. A uh, collection of high resolution wallpaper photos, which are all photos from various parts of Japan and Tokyo that I shot myself. For those of you who don't know, I work as a professional photographer. I do a lot of work related to travel, travel within Japan. I've been to almost every prefecture in Japan. I think there's like six left that I still haven't visited. Um, so yeah, and that's also one of the perks that you can get access to by joining me on Patreon. Again, the link is in the video description. And enough about that. I won't do any more promotion of my Patreon for another 30 minutes at least. <laughs> Thank you, Chuan, for the very helpful list of the number of fungi in Tokyo. That is incredibly useful information for the right person. Yeah, Marinochi down here. So at some point I think I need to let you vote again. But frankly speaking, from here my options are very limited. So I think I need to continue this way for a little bit longer. You have a Patreon account. Yes, <laughs> it's linked in the video description. Look at your camera gear list. Why not a Hasselblad? Unfortunately, I'm not that rich. I would love to shoot with Hasselblad cameras, but um, yeah, those are a little bit out of my budget and it wouldn't really make any financial sense for me to invest in those. It would not improve the quality of work I would be getting, so... <laughs> Let's go to Tokyo Station. Yeah, I guess we have to, right? I guess we have to head down towards Marinochi at least. Kitte garden ittakotto ittakotto nai kana? Kitte no tatemono a kekko omoshiroi desu ne. Kakui. Demo garden wa chotto wakaranai. Ittakotto nai kamoshire nai. Really high resolution and good for portrait photos. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, the Hasselblad like 100 megapixel camera, but it's extremely expensive. And also, I'm not sure, like higher resolution is not really what my clients request. They're pretty happy with the 50 megapixel files that I'm that they're getting from my current equipment. Uh, but I'm not sure how good uh, the autofocus on Hasselblad would be for the type of shooting that I do. It would be nice for, for um, landscape shots for sure. But again, my clients never really complain about the resolution of my current equipment, so. But sure, if I had unlimited amounts of money, I would happily buy myself uh, Hasselblad X1D set of lenses and cameras and use that for a lot of my work. It's uh, the most beautiful camera I know and it's also giving you pretty gorgeous uh, image quality and it's small and compact at the same time. I used to shoot with medium format cameras. I was shooting with the Pentax 645Z for 
well over a year that was my main camera and I did enjoy that at all and it's actually using the same sensor now we're getting very de geeky into camera talk sorry about that those of you who don't care much about cameras but um, yeah I was shooting with that for a while and the files are beautiful I have some of my best photos are actually taken with that camera um, and what that camera did was it also forced me to slow down which actually improved the quality of my photos because it's a bit slow everything from autofocus to to you know uh, taking several photos in a sequence it was everything was a little bit slow which made me think more before i pressed the shutter which actually actually improved the quality of my photos um, so for landscape work i truly enjoy that but it's also a very very heavy system and uh, since i do a lot of traveling my focus is also like having a small and lightweight um, uh, equipment is uh, very important to me so uh, what i'm using now when i'm doing most of my travel work is a nikon z7 with a 14 to 30 mil wide angle and a 24 to 70 as well as a 50 and 85 mil prime so that's a very small and lightweight kit and the image quality is more than enough for all of my clients enough of geeky camera talk at least for five minutes until I get a few follow-up questions on what I just said oh and another patreon supporter thank you very much Rai Kumar SB thank you so much thank you you are great what station is this also who is this Here's someone recording a bicycle bicycle video. Nani to the mask? YouTube desu ka? Oh, so this. Ah, I'm now recording. Oh, good luck, yeah. Thank you very He was also a YouTuber, <laughs> but he seemed to be a bit uh, embarrassed when I said I was shooting live. Okay, this is Takebashi Station. What would you regard, regard as a lightweight, medium format camera setup? Uh, what I mentioned just now, um, the Hasselblad X1D Mark II, ideally, and uh, two or three lenses. So this is the max vaccination site. This is where I was supposed to, go, to get my, to have gotten my shot two days ago. Huh. But I didn't because I was waiting for the post was too late with my voucher so I couldn't get the shot Zannen. but here it is and actually I heard some some people said that if you come here at like 4 a.m. in the morning and line up they will give you a shot when they open some people are actually doing that they open at 8 7 or 8 so you have to wait for three hours in the middle of the night then you can get a shot but they will only allow that until to today or tomorrow then they will stop doing that yeah you're supposed to, to book uh, your appointment in advance that's that's the proper way of doing it but in order to do so you need a coupon which will no the coupon thing applies even if you go here in the morning actually but uh, the online bookings are all full so that's why that's why I could not just schedule uh, a shot for a later date here because now it's all fully booked and now from next week they will concentrate on giving people the second shot so um, up until last week they were giving the first shot so they had plenty of slots open but uh, now they don't really give that many first shots anymore and those available slots they have gets uh, fully booked right away Wow, you've been streaming for one year. Yes, free your mind. One year, today. 
Today is the one year anniversary, stream streamiversary. So thank you all. Everyone who has been with me for this journey. Yeah, actually me and my wife stayed up. So they released 2,000 new slots at midnight last night. So both me and my wife, we stayed up and waited for those slots. Tried to make a booking. Uh, neither of us managed to get in. And after trying for 10 minutes, the website said all the slots are gone. So, yeah. Yeah, the streaming just started as a as a little experiment. Yes, and now it's I don't know. It's too much fun to for me to consider it as a job, but uh, yeah, it does bring me a little bit of money. So that's great. Um, Are you not using Samsung S21 Ultra today for streaming? I am, I am. I am using the S21 Ultra, yes. Oh, traveling toes, welcome. Welcome to my one year streaming anniversary. Good to see you here today as well. So, okay, maybe now I can give you another two options. One is to head down this way, which should be west. Let me just check, check them up to make sure that I'm not lying to you. Uh, I was lying to you. It's east, it's east. That will be towards uh, Maranochi. Uh, or I can continue down south along the Imperial Palace and eventually that would take us down towards Toranomon Hills and Tokyo Tower. You can even see Tokyo Tower in between those buildings over there. So south or east, vote now. East, south. Continue south, east. Wow, two two. Or east, we're not just south, south. I think so. South one, but again, it was a very, very, very narrow margin. Um, so I will continue south. I will set my sights on uh, Toranomon and um, Tokyo Tower. See if we can make it there before it's too late. But I will also do a detour into Marunochi, just a quick one, um, if anyone can confirm that coffee person is there uh, right now. Can someone check his Instagram? Those of, you know, those of you who knows what I'm talking about knows how to figure it out. So if he's there, I will stop by uh, him and uh, get myself a coffee and then I will continue south. Because I can't, I can't be this close to coffee person without getting myself a coffee. Especially not when I'm in the mood for a coffee. And thank you so much, um, Traveling Toes. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you, Rockaway Siren. Wow, what a day. I, I can almost afford one more cake today. Wonderful. Thank you so much. He's there until 4.30. Great. Thank you, Ray. 
So we are having a coffee break at my friend Coffee Person who runs a little coffee stand down here. He's a familiar face, familiar figure to the regulars on my channel. I will try to do a little dash here, cross before it turns red. Will we make it? Will we make it? Or will we break the law? That's the question. I think we made it. Yes, I think we made it. <laughs> Wonderful. So yeah, just a little detour to coffee person. We just crossed 700 viewers again. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Can someone swing the band hammer, please? <laughs> that person is probably having se several accounts with the same name or similar names. That's how. Because when you get banned, you get banned. But... Uh, what data plan are you using? I need to add that to the FAQ as well. I'm using Rakten Mobile, which offers unlimited data for a very, very cheap price. The only catch is that it's limited to 10 gigs per day. Then the speed will drop to three megabits per second. So I'm using on average 150 gigs or so in a month. Um, but uh, and I never actually bumped into the 10 gig daily limit before but I do have a feeling that we might hit it today Looks like we're hovering around 700 viewers. It always drops a little bit below 700 and then it jumps back up to, now it's 702 again. So I guess that's, that's a hard limit. Maybe there's only 702 people in this world who, who enjoys what I'm doing. Uh, but that's fine. That's enough. I'm happy with 700 people watching. That's more than I would ever have dreamed of a year ago. Okay, so we're back here at the Imperial Palace. We're still heading south. And here's the Palace Hotel, where I've never stayed. But maybe I should splurge treat myself to a night here at some point. I'm sure the view must be pretty amazing. Pine trees. Oh no, I'm so bad at biology. I have no idea what these trees are, to be honest. I don't think they're pine trees though. Pine trees are this, they have like this spiky, spiky things, right? Not leaves. Or maybe there's many kinds of pine trees. I don't know. Anyway, we we'll walk down one more block. Or maybe I should cross now since it's green here. Yeah, I guess I should do that.
wife works in a bank near Palace of Hell. Wow. Sounds fancy. Sounds like she has what what most people would refer to a very good job. Would refer to as a very good job. Sorry. I think I'm getting a little bit tired. I keep stumbling on my words. Thank you, G-Man AG, for the tequila shots. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Pine trees have needles. Needles, that's what you call them. I see. I didn't know the actual correct word. But yeah, needles. And thank you, Indy Ferne. Gratis och tack så mycket for the fan vi. Thank you so much for always watching and supporting. I think we want to cross here actually because the view will be better. And thank you, Robert Lamb. Wow, yeah. So another little perk that I will give to my Patreon supporters is I will give you a complete rundown of the income, how much this chat or this, this uh, stream made, because I think we broke down the, broke the record. And I'm pretty sure that my channel also broke a monthly record in terms of uh, revenue. And that might be interesting to some of you. So I will I will share that, that information with you. Thank you, Santosh. As well. You remember your first walk? Yes, traveling toes. Too bad you weren't here from the start, but actually today's walk started with the same walk as I did exactly one year ago. So that was the beginning of this um, stream today. How does one become a moderator for this channel? One proves himself worthy, himself or herself worthy by just actively participating in the chat and contributing, um, like, you know, in a constructive way to keeping the, the chat and the vibe in the chat good for a while. If you do that, I will eventually notice you and uh, at some point, that could potentially lead to um, that little wrench next to your name in the chat. But I only have like five, five mods or something like that. Oh uh, yes, and also there's another shortcut. It's like you count all the cones that has ever appeared on my videos throughout the years. That would, um, that would also be able to get you the status of moderator. Frankly, like having, like ask, if you have to ask for me to remember, um, that's not really a good sign. It's like when people ask me to do a shout out for them. That's like the least likely way for me to mention their names. <laughs> Yeah, that was Tokyo Station down there. Sorry, I was a little bit too focused on the chat and what was going on around me. Uh, but thank you, uh, Ginger Ballad. Thank you, Santosh and everyone else. Oh, coffee person is here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, the dog that hates you. Thank you. Omerito gozaimasu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very kind of you. Very generous.
coffee man. His name is Coffee Person. Coffee Person, it says here. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't remember when did I come here last time. person is the name of this shop and the guy who runs it. He's the coffee person. I think I need a black coffee. Actually, I'm quite thirsty. Maybe I should get something else as well, something a bit more, uh, something more hydrating. But I'm also reaching the the limit of my bladder, so uh, I should be careful. So it would be nice to celebrate with both the coffee and the ice lemonade, for example. Sounds nice. And the ice cocoa. Mm -hmm. So this is the Marunouchi district, which is like one of the main areas in central Tokyo. Lots of kind of fancy shops lining the streets here and it's also one of the few streets in this part of town that has trees like this which is something I really like especially during the summer obviously. Just so crazy active today. Vote for tea. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm a coffee person, and I definitely need a shot of caffeine right now. After these three hours of streaming, I need something to recharge me. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> he makes all the coffee by hand, so it's it sometimes takes a little while. So to keep you waiting. Thank you, Noel Chan. Thank you very much. <laughs> お久しぶりです。元気ですか?かみかみ切ったね。あ、かっこいい。サファリね。コーヒーパーソンナッツナバージョン。ナッツナバージョン。ああ、いいね。いいね。今日はあのアイスのカフェオレ。アイスお願い
先週末かなまあまあちょっと前でも残念ながらでも今日はできたよかった明日から雨が降りそうなのでああそうですね,ねそうですねちょうどいいかもしれないね今日ちょっと暑いもう3時間歩いたんです歩いたんですあの日本橋からスタートしてまず秋葉原の方に行ってそこからはあの東京ドームの方に行って水道橋,橋にこっちの方に戻ってこれからあの虎ノ門の方に行きます頑張ってくださいありがとうございます<笑>ありがとうございますスイカでお願いしますあ,あまだ払ってあすいません<笑>はいお願いしますはいできるかなできたで,できたはいはいそうですはいあ持ってないですちょっとこれヘイドヘイド,<笑>ヘイド<笑>ありがとうございますあそこそれもはいどうもでしたま,また今度、はい、ありがとうございますいらっしゃいませ OK We got ourselves a good old coffee coffee person coffee He usually always gives me a little extra shot Uh, I think he does that to most of his customers actually when he has a little bit of spare coffee. Yeah. Coffee person is. He's, he's the best. Mm, let's see. Actually, I think I should finish the coffee sitting somewhere around here because <laughs> then I can throw, throw this away. If I keep on walking, I don't know where the next trash can will be. So let me just relax here for a, for a little moment. Wow, thank you, Chris Michelson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Coffee person or Starbucks coffee. Everything is better than Starbucks. Wow, close to 750 people. It's crazy. Like in the like half a year ago in the winter, I think I was like hitting 900 a couple of times. Maybe that was during the holidays where everybody had lots of time off. Not sure. How did that person get to know you? I came here a couple of months ago maybe half a year ago or so i came here on a stream and i told him what i was doing and then we started following each other on social media and he started watching my channel uh, and since then i've been coming back here every now and then so uh, yeah How am I doing these days? Yeah, I'm not complaining. Life is good. Life is kind to me right now. So that's good. Gotta savor those moments for the next time life gives you lemons. You need something good to look back to, you could look back at. But right now, yeah, things are going fine. Plenty of work coming up. And、uh, I enjoy the fact that I can stream so much and that so many people are joining me all the time. So that's, uh, that's uh, great. Having lots of good times with my daughter as well, even though she's extremely demanding、uh, and makes both me and my wife insanely exhausted from time to time.、Uh, but.、Uh, あ、たかしさんありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。New developments with the baby.、Mm. Good question. Good question. She's growing. She's growing a lot. ごちそうさまでした。あ,ありがとうございます。ここですね。すはいはい。タクミケ、ハンフィンダでワクサ。ミシアス。ヘド。Okay, that was good. That gave me a little bit of an energy boost. So I think 
yeah, let me walk another block or two down here and then we will head back uh, to the palace street or palace side. Oh, here's another coffee van. Oh, looks like coffee person has got himself a rival. But I will certainly not support his rival. I will stick with Mr. Coffee Person for his amazing personality. Are you in Shinjuku? No, I'm in Marunouchi, next to Tokyo Station. And also pretty close to Yorakcho Station. Battery status, 79%. We just passed three hours of streaming today. Twenty-nine percent? No, twenty-nine percent battery left. Did I say seventy-nine? Maybe I need another beer. <laughs> oh, suddenly got pretty windy. Twenty-nine percent. So I think, yeah, I think we do indeed have another hour to go. Oh wow, this... My plaza. This architecture is kind of cool. I just got a quick glimpse of the inside here. Probably pretty sure the security guards will come after me if I go inside with the camera. But Here's Marinochi. This place I passed a few days ago on my stream. So let's, let's not... Uh, come back. Let's not go there again. It would be too repetitive. Thank you, Ray. Big thumbs up for T's bladder. Yeah. Right now, I think my bladder just started to become a threat towards the length of this uh, stream. Maybe my bladder might be end up being the limiting factor. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Often wind guts on that street. Yeah, maybe. Maybe all the the high buildings uh, make that happen. I don't know. I'm not an expert on atmospheric pressure, but could be that the fact that there's this large green open space next to all these high rises maybe makes it very windy take a break the problem is that the, the, the streaming software I'm using now you can't pause it so uh, we'll see yeah coffee is definitely not gonna help with the bladder maybe I need to run Maybe I need to run so that I sweat and that uh, the liquid leaves my body that way instead. I should cross here. I guess I should cross here.
Okay. I'm still okay. My 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 bladder is not about to explode. Not yet. So we're okay. We're okay for another moment, for another while. And uh, who knows? I will pass through Hibiya Park. Maybe there's a bathroom I can use there. Just like I did a few days ago. I mean, after all, there's just 700 people watching, so. I shouldn't be shy, right? Yeah, Laura is missing. Laura has been missing for quite some time. I should check in on her. How much longer will you stream? I think another, another hour or so. But again, it depends if my data limit is reached then uh, we might have to end sooner. So, yeah, if we suddenly start buffering a lot, then you know that we probably reached the, the data limit. And uh, it might get so bad that I can't even say goodbye. So hopefully that won't happen, but it's, it's a possibility. So... Um, yeah, just so you know. You will break the record. The record is four hours and I think eight minutes or something like that. I don't think we'll break that record today, actually. I think we might end up in the same ballpark, but we're not going to break it by a big margin. My longest stream was when I walked the entire Eureka Mome line. Um, so, yeah. I can say goodbye in chat. That's true. That's true. I forgot about that. And okay, Ray, you are good at math. So if you say that we will be okay, I trust you with that. I trust you. Because you are good at counting cones. That means you are most likely also good at counting data. Lots of people here. This is, ah, oh, this is, yeah, this is a theater. Lots of people coming out. Maybe there was some, some play or something. I know that sometimes there's like lots of people waiting here for like some celeb celebrities to come out. Maybe that's... Uh, four hours, 18 minutes is the longest stream so far. Wow, okay. Nice. I thought it was four hours and eight. Eighteen. Wow. I wonder how many steps we walked so far today. Now we're at 14,300 steps. moment was a fantastic stream yeah I agree it was really really nice I enjoyed it a lot I surely did so Hibiya Park is coming up here Don't feed the koi. Don't feed the carps. If we hit 400 likes. That would be nice. That would be maybe a new record. Should we hit 700 likes. Did I say 400? I meant 700. 700 likes during the stream could be a new record. Yes. AB just joined. Are you near Automatic? Yes, I'm. Uh, uh, entering Hibiya Park. So just past the Imperial Palace and uh, heading towards Hibiya Park and Tokyo Midtown is here as well. 
Mitan Hibia. Oh, thank you, Michael. Happy anniversary. <laughs> you had to drop in anyway. Thank you so much for stopping by and for waking up and for always supporting me for so long. Thank you. Shinkansen down there. Can you see it? That's Ginza. If we walk down this way, we're, we will reach Ginza. But we won't walk that way. We won't reach Ginza. Because you told me to walk to uh, Toranamon. So that's where we're heading today. Which is nice because Toranamon is an area that I haven't really been to that much uh, on this channel. So good on you. We have two maps. Now I'm trying to figure out which one we should look at. Maybe this one. We are here. We are heading this way. Uh, yeah, I think I will just head to like the central part of the park and walk through there. There's a few bathrooms here. So, uh, Maybe, likely, possibly, toilet break. Oh, did I miss your super chat? Sorry about that, Mr. BA Sins. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, this, the chat is extremely active today. And uh, sometimes I do indeed miss super chats. Yes, I see it now. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary for filming great videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell us the truth. Have you ever had to use an emergency tree? Oh yes, many times. Many times. Not while streaming though. But, of course, of course it has happened, but not in a crowded park like this, in the middle of the day. Because fortunately, there are plenty of public restrooms in uh, Tokyo, and you never really have to <laughs> struggle to find uh, a more appropriate thing, appropriate place to do your deeds. No, this park is pretty crowded, so I certainly won't resort to a tree here, that's for sure. Oh, do you see the, the lawn mover? Japan and sure I could probably safely leave my camera outside uh, without having to worry too much um, oh, Olympics propaganda here We do have a public restroom here. I am going to see what it looks like. If it's something I could potentially use to make my the remaining hour of streaming a bit more, um, a bit less, um, what should I say, traumatizing? <laughs> Let's see what do we have here. 
I think we can actually use this. Yes, I think so. I need to hold this. Sorry, folks. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> That's weird, okay. I thought I muted the audio when I went inside, but obviously I didn't. And uh, it's... Uh <laughs> that was a big fail. But anyway, I feel like a whole new person. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. Um, okay, audio is back now. Okay, good. Yeah, epic audio fail. So you could hear me pee. Can someone maybe rip that and sell as a NFT? Uh, Tokyo Peace, the audio. Tokyo Explorer peeing in public restroom in Huya Park. See how much money we could get for that. Lots of people here. Actually, this building, the Hippia Midtown that you see over here, it's quite nice. I like those kind of staggered terraces over there. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Hi. I saw this. I saw this. YouTube. YouTube live. Hi, I saw this. あ、今、今、見てますか。はい。これあの、ニコニコ動画。あ、はいはい、してます。でも、それ。YouTube なんていう YouTubeですか。東京エクスプローラーっていう。東京エクスプローラー。チャンネルが。はい、東京。はい、
あーなるほどなるほどニコニコっていうのをやってますけど、はい、ちょっと写真いいですよいいかなるほど、はい、ありがとうございます手元の外配信あーやってるここら辺歩いてたんですけどああそうか、はい、いやさ普通なんか散歩しながら、はい、あ僕も同じようなチャンネル、はい、でも、はい見に行きますあ。よろしくお願いします。はい、ます今日今日実はあの一年間周年、はいはいはい、そうだから何に住んでらっしゃるんですか。はいそうですそうです。今この、はい、このぐらい見てます。あそうです。そうそうそう,そう。僕は全然あの<笑>全然こうこれぐらいです。やっぱりあはいあでもスポーツ配信とかするんですけど、はい、スポーツ配信するときはやっぱり。人がいっぱいサッカーとか野球とかーベースボールあーなるほど,あのなるほど僕はただのなんか散歩、はい、なんかえー、っと<笑>今なんか日本に、はい、あの行けない行けたいけど行けない人が多い、はいはいはい、そのためにあのいろんなあスウェーデン人ですスウェーデンですか、はいはい、でもいろんなところなユーロとかサッカーやってるじゃないですか。ユーロ。多分、僕はあんまりスポーツ興味ないけど。はい。そうかもしれない。ユーロっていうあのサッカー。配信とかを。やってる時に。はいはいはい。はいはいはい、結構いっぱい来るんですよ、人が。ああ、面白い。あの、海外のチャンネルとかの放送をやったりして。はいはいはい、<笑>スウェーデン。スウェーデン。これ、匿名なんですけど。ああ。今、あの。なんていうか、名前つければ、つけれるんですけど。ああ、ははは。大体、ほとんど匿名ですね。ああ、はは。ありましたじゃあ,あと、はい、後でちゃんとチャンネル見てます、はいはい、ありがとうございますよろしくお願いします、はい、<笑>いやいや<笑> So I bumped into another、uh, live streamer just now That's interesting So he was he's streaming on Nico Nico which is a Japanese、uh, online video streaming channel or streaming platform Uh, so his username was a bit complicated. So, but I, I got a screenshot of his account. I will check it out later. What's his Nico Nico name? It's it's.、Uh, I don't know. I'm not so familiar with how Nico Nico works, but it seems like everybody has very complicated names on there, like some word and then random numbers, and、uh, like it, it's it's a bit strange. I need to check it out more properly later. Ah,、oh, yeah, that bot is quite annoying, right? Oh, did we just pass 700 likes? Whoa! Thank you. Wonderful. 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 So happy. So happy to see that. Ah,、uh, so let me take a look at、uh, the map because we're heading towards Toranomo, the show. So、start out. How do you do it? Okay, we should head a couple of blocks this way. Current battery status is 19%. So let's see. Let's see how that goes. Where are we walking today? So, today's walk is a little bit special because today my viewers h a s been kind of choosing the directions to a pretty large extent. So, I had no idea this morning where I would be walking today. I knew the first hour of this stream, that was planned, but the rest has been up to my viewers. Wow, thank you, Mia Colin. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Super kind of you.、Ah, okay, so this right, this is the library. Hibiya Toshokan Bunkakan? Okay, Chioda 
中打空率。Nice. I've never been inside actually. Maybe I should check it out sometime. Is this the most viewers I've ever had? No. I've had 900 like last winter. My viewership was actually a bit higher than what it's been since then. I don't know why. But uh, like I kept saying so many times today, it's not about the number of viewers it's about the quality of the viewers and uh, when it comes to the quality of viewers my viewers are the best so i'm really happy about that but i think so now kind of thinking how far we should push it today I don't want to risk actually running out of battery while streaming because that could mess things up with the stream itself. It may not shut off correctly. Um, so I might... Um, I might uh, end it at like... Uh, mm, when I'm at like 10% or so, somewhere between 10 to 5% left of battery. Um, and then I will take a bit of a break, recharge the phone for a while, and I will do a Patreon only stream afterwards. That's Torano on Hills over there. And can you see the tip of Tokyo Tower? Very neatly showing up between these buildings. Um, so yeah, we will definitely make it down to Toronomon Hills. That's for sure. Congratulations for 150 patrons. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I think we might even be beyond. Yeah, we're at 152 patrons now. Wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you all. For 18 needs to be beat. Yeah, it does, but... I don't think we will beat that today without uh, me cheating in somehow somehow by charging the phone. Otherwise, we won't beat that time because yeah, those twenty percent we have is come on, eh? We're at three hours and thirty minutes now. Not too far off. Darla Chontos, thank you very much for the kind words. We're at Kasumigaseki now, which is famous for having lots of uh, governmental buildings and facilities around here. I can't lower the bitrate on the fly. I actually planned to stream at a bit lower bitrate today, uh, but because I am the one I am, I forgot so I forgot to change the setting and I tried changing it in the beginning of this stream but uh, it uh, didn't actually change so lots of politicians so this ne konna hen se jikaga oi this ne Could have been the lower bitrate. Um, I usually stream at 6,000 kilobits per second, so I would have probably done like maybe 4,000, 4,500, something like that. Not too low. 2,000, then quality is really bad. So, 
but uh, you cannot set it freely. There's just in Streamlabs you have different options, but I think I think there's a 4,500 option. So maybe I would have gone for that. But anyway, it looks like we're still fine for a bit longer. So. It's going to be interesting to see if there are any people joining me from that Nico Nico Doga guy's stream because he I mentioned my channel name there so if there are any viewers uh, who finds, my, finds their way to my channel then let me know Yes, yeah, yeah, I should have said that in Japanese. Moshi Saki no Niko Niko Doga no Kata no Haishin Kara Kita Kata ga Irasai Mashtara. I know, Zehi, Oshira se kudasai. Chat to them. The Tokyo Tower, yes, indeed, it is. That's Tokyo Tower over there. This Tokyo Tower, and down this way we have Shinbashi. Yeah, you did an internship around here. Interesting. So you were in the in the epicenter of Japanese politics. Must have been interesting. That's a good slogan. I don't know if you can read it, but for memory to be forever bright. That's what we all want our memories to be, isn't it? Forever bright. It smells like sewer here. But yeah, there's lots of nice, actually, small, old drinking alleys around here too. I did come here once at night and did a bit of night photography. Got some plenty of plenty of good shots. Yeah, Tokyo is empty on weekends. Well, it really depends on where you are, but this is mainly an office district, so uh, it's of course gonna be very empty on a weekend like this. Uh, 
yes, I see that you're discussing the quality of John Dobbs' stream. And yes, he is using the YouTube app, the regular YouTube app only, which limits your streams to 720p. He has done a couple of videos where he kind of explains what equipment he uses. And he's, he's a believer of the original official YouTube app is the best. So that's his philosophy. Something I don't agree with, but uh, yeah. I kind of understand his point. I spent a lot of time testing various equipment, testing different settings um, in order or until I settled on this, which, uh, you know, I'm very happy with the quality of my streams now, but it's been, uh, I spent many hours to figure things out, so. Um, my real name is not something I want to make public here on YouTube, thank you. My Patreon supporters know my real name, but uh, it's not something that I share with, the, with everyone here on YouTube, so please respect that. Streamlabs, yeah, it used to give me a lot of headaches, Streamlabs, but since I got this phone, the Samsung, it's actually working very, very well and very, very stable. Many of the frustrations I used to have with Streamlabs are uh, pretty much gone now. And now I feel that it's super stable. So, we reached Toranomon. Um, I was thinking to give you some options as to where to go from here. Maybe I should. I should be consistent with that, right? One option is certainly to head further south down to Tokyo Tower, which is not very far away from my current location. Uh, to go to Shimbashi to check the Ghibli clock and the area with the new skyscrapers close to the Eureka Mome line. Um, yeah, I guess that will also be an option. Question is if my battery will last us long enough. It's 14% left now. So 14 is start of, you know, now it's the, the battery icon has turned red. So that's, that's where we are at right now. Uh, but yeah, I can either he head south to Tokyo Tower, or I can head east towards Shimbashi and the skyscrapers around the Yurika Mome uh, line. So uh, vote now, south or east? South for Tokyo Tower, east for Shimbashi. It is currently 4.40 in the afternoon. So it's not really getting dark, no. It's probably just all the skyscrapers maybe blocking out the uh, okay, south one by a large margin, so we are heading for Tokyo Tower, so continuing down this way. We'll see if we will reach Tokyo Tower, so over there is Shimbashi and uh, all those high rises, but that's not where we're going today. We are heading towards Tokyo Tower this way. And thank you, Lara, for subscribing. Thank you very much, and thank you, TY, for the super chat. Moribayashi, thank you very much. Good. Thank you. 
残念ながら S になりましたはい。This bot surely is annoying. Hi, Shun. Shun, no me deto. Arigato gozaimas. It's buffering now. Okay. Let's see. I will give it a little time. We'll see if, the, if it improves. Looks like it's going up again, but I'm not sure. Are we okay? It still looks like we're on pretty low bitrate now, actually. Um, let me know. It might be the data. Data that has been out or that we're running out of data. No buffering bit of pixelation. Okay, well, hopefully, if that's what's happened when the data runs out, I think it's okay. I think it's okay, but、uh, yeah, we, we've been on a pretty low bitrate for, for a while now, so I don't think it was just the signal. We'll see. Still at 1080, okay, that's good. That's what's that's good. Bitrate gang. <laughs> yeah, it looks to hover around 3000 kilobits per second, so I think it is the 10 gig. We use 10 gigs of data in one day. I can't change the resolution on the fly either, unfortunately. But as long as you can hear me, I think it's okay.、Uh, we're down to 12% battery now. I think. Limiting it at 3 megabits per second once you hit that daily 10 gigs. I think that's pretty generous, yeah. Three, after all, 3 megabits per second. Like, if I wasn't a streamer, 3 megabits per second would be all I needed. When will you go live again? So, once this stream ends, which it actually will quite soon, I will take a break for maybe half an hour or so.、And、then I will do a patron only stream to celebrate this 
this grand day with my most loyal supporters and uh, then uh, I hope to do another stream tomorrow but looks like it might rain all day tomorrow so that could complicate things but uh, generally you know my goal is to stream pretty much every day so that's I don't know tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe an evening stream. If it's not raining too hard, a rainy night walk could be nice. And also, I guess this Patreon stream today will be a little bit pixelated then, because since I'm out of data. But I think if I'm just not walking, it should be okay. How many steps now? Good question. 17,000 steps. 17,000 steps. Evening stream, yeah, yeah. It's been a couple of days since my last evening stream, so maybe an evening stream tomorrow. This is actually a pretty nice view from this side. Could be a potential screenshot here. I actually always feel that my Fitbit is kind of a little bit low on the step count. Usually Apple, Apple's app tend to tell me a higher number. Um, still have 11% re left, so I think I'll try to get a little bit closer to the Tokyo Tower. Then there's a park here. Um, the Shiba Koen, where I might just sit down, rest a little bit and uh, recharge the phone before we will get on the Patreon-only stream. Yeah, we're still at six, uh, almost 700 viewers. So again, thank you all, my dear viewers. You're the best. If there are any new persons out there who just found my channel, um, you might want to know that I do streams and walks like this almost every day, usually not this long. Today was a special day because it's the one year anniversary, but uh, usually I walk for about one to two hours. Uh, almost every day, so please subscribe if you think that's something you would enjoy. And um, uh, what else? Yeah, there's the Patreon, like I said. Uh, if you want to support this channel and if you want to get access to Patreon only streams, you can join me. The link is in the video description. Uh, if you haven't liked the video yet, please do so. And uh, yeah. Yeah, also I have a merch store, which I haven't really updated recently, but it's there. You can check the link. You can hear that I'm not too motivated about it, but I do think I have quite some nice stuff in there. So yeah, check it out if you want to. That's also a great way to support the channel. Also, there's some airlines here, including Scandinavian Airlines. I did not know that they had a humble little office here, but they do, they do. And uh, let's hope that they survive this crisis. Because after all, they were about to start a direct line between Tokyo and uh, Stockholm. Or no, actually that was that's run by ANA, not SAS.
10% battery left now. It's possible to one day stream from Saitama, Omiya Station. Ah, uh, yeah! I still haven't really been much to Saitama and I haven't streamed from Saitama at all. So I do plan to change that at some point. And Omiya is a pretty major place, so I guess that could very well happen. We are here. Tokyo Tower is here. Let's see if we can make it. Spike Live for always being around. Ah, yeah, after, so I did a walk a couple of weeks ago when I walked from, was it from Shibuya to Tokyo Tower? I don't remember exactly. And then I ended the stream at Tokyo Tower, but I came from the opposite side. Then after that stream, I actually walked around a little bit here and found this. It's surprisingly lush and green. It's kind of nice. So this now, today, Tokyo Tower no shikaku ni shuryo shimasu. Battery wa soro soro naku narimasu no de. 今9%しか残ってないあ、oh, did we get some buffering there? Let's see if we will if the stream will recover. not buffering okay can you all hear and see can you hear me and see what I see still go for the last push push for 800 likes yes 20 more likes come on folks let's let's make it 800 that would be such a nice round number to wrap things up Good, good, good. You can hear me. You can see what I see. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. 11 more likes. Good. Still 9%. 7 more likes. Come on. Can we? Can we do it? Will we make it? Will we make it? One more. 800. Yes. Wonderful. We made it. 800 likes. We made it. Three hours, 55 minutes. We're now at Tokyo Tower. And I have 8% battery left. So, uh, I think, I think I just simply have to wrap things up here. I think this is a pretty good place to end this nice stream. It's been great. Thank you, Bilma Warren. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you all for joining me today. It was, uh, it was a great anniversary stream. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And uh, yeah. That will be it for now. And again, those of you who are on Patreon will get a link soon as a separate post there will be a link to a new stream um, within 30 minutes or so so please keep an eye out for that and to the rest of you I will see you again whenever I see you again hopefully I will do a stream tomorrow but I can't promise anything okay thank you so much you're the best I'm tired I walk continuously, not three hours, four hours, 
four hours. That's pretty, pretty long. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ruin Dig, for the last moment super chat as well. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you all. Hey, do. Auf Wiedersehen. See you next.